Hi everybody. This is K Angel. Uh, um, this is Keiko, also known as K Angel. Look at right next to me. It's a beautiful, beautiful angel, Earth angel. Just a uh, doctor, Jessica. Uh, Sa Jessica Sanchez Romo. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Keiko. Hi, everybody. This is what I have been always wanting to do. I think if you ever, you know, this, um, if you ever watch my very first English YouTube channel, which is this, or I have another Japanese YouTube channel, but my very first English YouTube uh, video that I posted, I recorded uh, back in 2018, 2017, November 11. That was the very first day that I ever, ever recorded a video in English. And I would say, I say that to the, to the universe that this is what I want to do. I want to invite to my home. This is uh, my angel recording video, uh, video room. This is my home and I have two chairs and I always wanted to invite beautiful souls, us angels and like divine, divine beings. And my dream came true. This is, <laughs> so this is my dear friend and she's a, a powerful, powerful multi-dimensional spiritual healer and a channeler and you have, yeah, I already had a, a little um, hour long interview on my channel. So you might have, uh, you might want to check the video, the interview I conducted with Jessica if you haven't already. So Jessica, is there anything you'd like to share today? I'm no, so uh, I'm filled with joy <laughs> and gratitude, excitement. I just, I feel the joy, I feel the gratitude, and I thank you for having me here and the honor of being the first person you get to have here in these beautiful chairs. It really is a, a divine place that you have in your angel room here. It's set up. It's so amazing. Everyone, what you experience on the video is the energy here. It is, it is her. It is angel energy. It is beauty. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. It's a pleasure, thank it's you. an honor, and it's even more of a pleasure and honor to be here with every single one of you sharing this space, sharing this beautiful earth angel hair, and with each one of your divine lights as well. Yes, we are all like, th there is nothing, it's a, not, uh, nothing is a coincidence. It's all synchronicities, and we are guided by divine power. And then if you are watching, you are listening to this video, you happen to find my small channel, my English channel, my Japanese channel, it's not, you know, big, big channel. But if you are, you happen to be here listening to what we have to share, what she has to share, you are, you are divinely guided. You are meant to be here. You are meant to receive the energy, the healing, the message that we are, we are going to share. Um, as a matter of fact, today, um, she did some uh, spiritual cleansings and healings on me. And that was one of the mo most powerful experiences that I ever had, spiritual experience that I ever had. I felt uh, vibrations. I felt like deep, with something deep within was moved, uh, stimulated. It was uh, um, integrated. And she felt a lot better. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but when <laughs> you are you are doing cleansings and healing on me about fifteen minutes or so, you, uh, Jessica kept like bobbing, like bobbing, and <laughs> <laughs> coming up a lot, you know, within internally. And it was like she was doing that on behalf of me. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of past life issues wounds, traumas, yeah. energetically, spiritually, and she felt that, and I felt that. And ever since she did on me, she healed my past traumas, she, uh, I mean, shift my, shifted my energies. I've been feeling <laughs> like a brand new, newborn baby, a newborn baby. I almost, I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry the tears of joy, tears of gratitude, tears of beauty and love. But I said, no, 
we, we are going to cook dinner together <laughs> with my family. I cannot cry. I cannot mess up my makeup. So I just, you know, I was standing there. I stood there, but I, my I was filled with really deep joy and love. I could feel it all. I could feel all your joy. I could feel all your peace. I could feel all your love. So, um, you know, Keiko was mentioning, <laughs> sounds embarrassing, but yes, I was burping while it's happening. And, and, you know, a lot of you out there that are light workers and doing spiritual healing and cleansing, there's different ways of us, um, as being empathic, there's different ways of us assisting people through what they're going through and yet releasing it. And since if they're going through, you were going through actually not just spiritual and emotional, but physical releases as well. There's physical manifestations of our spiritual and emotional releases. So uh, it, it seems like always like an embarrassing thing for people or, or people who don't want to talk about it, but there's natural things that our body's going to do as releases. And, um, you know, I always like to joke even medically Gas has one way in and yes. two ways out. <laughs> right, that, yeah, Hopefully it's right. the upper side out versus the outer side is what we always worry about. But in spiritual work and in spiritual releases, it's not necessarily that gas came in. You would think I was probably drinking three liters of Coke or um, <laughs> yes. uh, Pellegrino mineral That's water it, or right. something. Uh, not because I'm trying to market that. I'm just saying you would think I was drinking some kind of gaseous kind of thing or eat some things, but it's not that. It's just natural body releases. It's natural releases, spiritual releases, emotional releases, physical releases that our body processes. And thank you for all the honor of me being able to assist you, but it's not even just me. And that's one thing we talk about. It's Keiko was allowing the higher power in. She was allowing love in. She was allowing light in. She was allowing the divine to come in, work through me to assist her, but more so work through her to assist her in more brightening her light, brightening and connecting her energy as one, as one. Just like we see this candle here and this beautiful, this beautiful lamp lit up, we as well, every time we allow the divine to work in us and all our angels to be around us, all of our spirit guides to be around us, everything that's part of this universe that's divine, pure, and as long as we allow them in in a protected, very protected, because we had a very protective circle up, um, as long as it's happening in a very protective format, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to work. And it's going to be divine where you're always guided to, like you said, brighter love, a new refreshing self, and a more deepening acknowledgement of your inner beauty and your true purpose and your divine purpose and with releases of everything from the past. Right. And I just want to share or I just want to ask you, Jessica. So tonight, so you, so I needed, like, I had Jessica as my healer. So he, she did, you know, she performed the healing and cleansing and creating on me. But if it's uh, those of you, uh, um, I mean, you who don't have any healers at the moment. So if they feel like they need some, they need to release something. They need the healings. They need to work on themselves. Is there anything that you can share with them that they can do on their own? Yeah, there's many things. Um, first of all, first most important, most important, most important, most important thing. It's calm, light, and protection. Before you're going to start any healing work, we've talked about this. Um, I know I've talked about it with many other healers as well. Any of my clients, please call in love, call in light, call in protection around yourself. Intentions. It's completely your intentions. Put the intentions to be positive. Put them to be protective. Put them to be pure and divine around you. As you call in that positive, protective light, get yourself grounded. And you can do it through breath. There's so many ways to get grounded. You know, whether it's through meditation, whether it's through prayer, through your breath. But now you have light and protection, and you have grounding. So you're creating your own column and your own tube, your own connection with the divine. And as you're in this protective space, and you've allowed negativity not to be pushed out, but to be transmuted and transformed, because... We don't just want to push negativity out. We want to have it transmitted. Exactly. It goes somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It gets absorbed by right, somebody right. else. It comes it's gonna back to you. Right. It's going to stay in the Mother Earth Gaia. 
if you exactly. don't do anything, you have to also help the uh, heal and help the planet because the planet yeah. is a living exactly. being. Exactly. If I'm pushing it out of me and these beautiful crystals are here, I'm just pushing it into the right. crystals and I'm not doing anyone any favors. So yeah, protective place, filled with love, filled with positive energy and light. Then when you're setting your intention for what you're doing, always for the highest purpose and highest good of not just you, but everyone else involved. Because when you're healing, you're healing with so many other people. Yeah. You're assisting, like right. you said, Mother Earth Gaia, mm -hmm. you're assisting and helping mm -hmm. in this universe and in many other universes. So protection, love, light, grounding, getting connected. So you're connected with Gaia, you're connected with Mother Earth, you're connected with everything that's divine above. And then I think we talked about it one on our last um, video, I think we did the breathing right. and connecting with a figure eight. It's one format, always find what's best for you. But if you're breathing in beautiful divine light from up above into you, as you exhale it down to mother earth through the bottom of your feet, after you already have this beautiful lighted energy or through your tailbone, you breathe back in that energy after you connect with the center of the core of the earth into you, exhale back out to the heavens above and let that be transmuted and transformed because when we breathe back in, we're breathing in everything that was negatively placed here by me, by you, by everyone. We're all right, at fault right. with Mother Earth, Gaia. Yeah. And so we want to push that back out and not keep it, and but let it be transmuted and transformed by everything that's divine. So as we're doing this, we're forming a figure eight, which is a sign of infinity, which infinite energy and divinity working. And we're at the center of that figure eight. So now we're allowing the divine within us to work and function. That so we're accepting so it. So powerful and so beautiful. And that you are not ima just imagining it. You are not just making mm -hmm. this up. You are actually creating it. You you have that power. Yes. You are that powerful. Yes. Intention, imagination is everything. And so, so yeah. mm -hmm. is there anything you'd like to share? No, I'm just... Do that, and as you do that, you're going to get yourself into a safe, a very sacred place, and you can then be a lot more advanced in your own healing, in everything that you're working on, and I want to say thank you for choosing to work on you, because by you working on you, we all become stronger, we all become bigger, we all become brighter, right. and I, as well, will continue to do my part to continue to work on me, right. to assist in all of us growing, getting brighter, and shining our divine lights in more unified form and fashion. Right. So, thank you. Dr. Jessica sanchez Romo, this is a multi-dimensional angel, earth mm -hmm. angel. So she, that if you want to know more about uh, what she, you know, what she <laughs> has uh, up in her sleeve or her as a, uh, has a, uh, as a spiritual tools, here in the Western community, English community, you can directly contact her for now. And I also, uh, we also work with the Japanese community, which I, I am originated from. I, um, I'm from Japan and I speak Japanese. If we, those of you who are listening, you live in Japan and you, you speak only Japanese. So we, Jessica and I can also, I mean, show you and share the tools with you so you can know more about, you know, in detail. So uh, thank you so much, Jessica, again. Mm, thank you. And please visit here, you know, as many yes. times as possible. I like to invite Jessica. I like she to. Uh, I like her to move in. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you. Thank you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Lots of love. <laughs>